action! Hey guys, Zach Ben 18 here. Welcome to another Game of Watch 2012. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2. Justice for all. So I know I haven't finished the first game yet, which as you know looks like this. <laughs> um, but we're gonna take a quick look at Phoenix Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2, Justice for All. We're just gonna take a tiny look at it. I don't wanna spoil myself too much. I just wanna kinda show you what's gonna be coming up ahead. Uh, and for this episode, I've got Extreme Game Bits. Right here. Yep. So, we hope to do good. I think uh, we'll be able to play through a whole episode. I'm not too sure. I'm not sure if they're going to have any to be continues. So let's just start a new game here. Episode 1, The Lost Turnabout. It's like you end up playing the whole thing. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited for this. Ugh. How did I get into, get into this mess? <laughs> Alright, we'll use some Let's for Phoenix. No, so we... I'm Phoenix. Um, That's why I said, you're going to use yeah. some for Phoenix, you can't... I'm everybody else. What the? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What have I done wrong? That's me. <laughs> I cannot allow- no, That's no, the judge. What the? Like Stop it. <laughs> but I'm just a simple defense. That's the judge. Why does he look all creepy? Silence! Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title! Let me see if it sound more creepy if we do it at the same time. Alright. It's like it's one voice, but except sound of many. Same old kind of text type thing. That's probably what was giving him the nightmare. What a nightmare. And I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Huh? Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. Who is he? <sighs> Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... Okay, then I'll be a judge while you're doing What? It's you're nothing personal, else, Mr. Judge. Attorney. Yeah, you're everybody else. No, you're, you're the, uh... I'll tell you who you are. I'll tell you who, we, who you are. I'm not sure if he's in here. We'll see. A few minutes later. <laughs> Hit him, did he hit us in the head? <laughs> Idiot! Ouch, my head, it's throbbing. And why does it feel so foggy in there? Come here. <laughs> Do it. Good morning. Ah, uh, good morning. What's wrong? You don't look well. People are at the best for thing in point. What's the front? I didn't experience. <laughs> Sorry, but can you please turn the cheeriness down? My head sort of hurts. Right there. <laughs> um, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? Wait, what? Wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I'd done something wrong. What? What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm putting to my head in your hands, baby. Free drive. Life in my hands? You promise me? Are you sure you are proved? Yeah, we're not guilty. N not guilty? Just when I thought awful for us, we're not their lawyers. Look at her eyes! Name <laughs> is right, you said. You, you are their only one. Why, please, right? Come save me then. It's just like a, a move to tears, sir. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, ever! What is this girl babbling about? Actually, I would love it to watch court proceedings do. I'll just root for you to win. Bye, Mom Judy. I like to come here, yeah. What's wrong? You've been acting really strange. You keep staring at me, making some kind of nervous, sir. Oh, sorry. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this might sound bad, but, uh, who are you? What? You're right, honey. I said that. How many years did you have a girl to call a show? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I feel such a friend such a honey treats as blind, sir. I can't believe this. No, it's just, well, I think you have the wrong person. I am. Yes, I am. I'm... Who am I? Why am I drawing a blank? 
Jeez, that guy who hit us is a big piece of crap. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Hmm, I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see, what can I piece together? Hmm. From my conversation I can safely see that I'm probably say I'm probably a defense attorney. And that girl, I said I'd prove her not guilty. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Ugh, someone please tell me this is just a bad dream. Why do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? Mm. Here we go. First day in court. So you can... Yeah, hold on. Court is now for the trial of Maggie Bird. It could be this guy. The prosecutor is ready, Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Wright? Um, uh, are you talking to me? Do you see any other defense attorneys here? I guess not. Ugh. Now that you're ready? I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. If her life is in my hands, I should really do the responsible thing. Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... The court will not hear the defense's excuses, because the defender is a member of the police. This case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you're forgotten. Actually, I did. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Yes, Your Honor. And I, as I'm sure you are well aware, the defendant is killed. Is accused? Of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. A policeman? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me! But it was just Dustin and I weren't lovers like that! In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defense. Very well, Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. <laughs> it's been well, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, Rookie. Okay, and who are you again? Please bring Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go, do it every day, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide, I'm so dead. So you guys remember uh, Detective Gumshoe from the last game? My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I do kind of a Patrick voice for him. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so, you know... You work under the detective? Yes, sir. And while I was in training, you always watched me for me, sir. You were such a wonderful guy, sir. I will never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down, I believe you. Please describe for us the details of this murder. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters at Exposed Park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, yes. The sound officer report, correct? Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch stopped from the impact to the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well. This court accepted into evidence. I guess we got that in our court record. Now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing. A very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Yes, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Um, was there... Have you lost your mind? Well, actually, um, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? I'll give you a like such an amateur. I'll tell you I'm a pro, sir. All right, sir. I'll hop you over to the desk. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. Which is this? Court record? Yep. It's all about evidence of people. Well, it's all honest. The plus button? You really know what you're talking about, huh? It's your bad I'm caught, right? What if somebody actually said that in real life? What if somebody actually said that in real life? If you want to look at the court record, press the plus button. 
Uh, where's the plus button? <laughs> I've been trying to give me points. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Court's in session. Save your chit chat for later. Sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I'd better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? The plus button? All right, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? As right, so we can look through here. Here's our attorney's badge. Okay, so it's the glasses. That's simple, Your Honor. A broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed the criminal's glasses as he was being shoved, sir, and held on to them as he fell. Hey, why are you gonna make me a lot? Those glasses you're wearing. Yeah. Yes, these are my spare pair. But these glasses are just fine. I just can't cry. But I'm fine. I swear. Yeah. You sure about that? But look. There was a coincidence on that same day. I actually stepped on mine. A coincidence, she says. Ugh. Further evidence to present. Oh, you have more? And this evidence is very decisive. Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. Here we go. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. There's new music in this guy's if you guys are, can't hear right now. During his, his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. I don't like saying it, but it's clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard to say she's not the culprit. So there's the writing here on it. Why, this is... Yes, I can see the name is clearly written right here. That's Kirshen. We'd like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious, the victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. But, 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 I told you that the glasses are fine! And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy! I'm not guilty, sir! Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the witness. Cross-examine? It says it, I can't know you! Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? This is not like your own! Oh, this is where you get the witness. Get in their faces and do what? <laughs> okay, I'm going to let. Oh. Why? But isn't that detective your superior? Believe it. Ben. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Talk about trial by fire. <laughs> Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be all right. All right. Um. Can I pause this? <laughs> Can't pause it. All right. Um. So we're gonna take a break. Uh. Okay. There we go. Um. So when we come back, we'll jump into our first cross examination. Ben will be here. Tune in!